I appreciate it. It's like pro pilots here tonight, boys. <laughs> Except for Harrison Ford. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to X-Plane 11. Uh, if, if this is your first video of mine that you've seen, uh, welcome for the first time. Welcome, welcome, of course. Uh, today we are in Los Angeles at the Santa Monica Airport, and with Los Angeles comes Hollywood, and with Hollywood comes a lot of famous people. Famous people like Harrison Ford. Now, Harrison Ford is famous in the aviation world, as you may know, for some different reasons than he is in the Hollywood world. He's made quite a few mistakes, and now of course every pilot makes mistakes, but he has made a lot of mistakes. 53178, engine failure, immediate return. Ryan 178, runway 21, clear to land. Let's go to 3. Ryan 178, runway 3, clear to land. Well, that is what is left of Harrison Ford's vintage airplane pancaked on a golf course here in West Los Angeles. Husky, Manor Hotel Uniform, maintain visual separation, caution, Lake Turland, Stormway 20 left, clear to land. Stormway 20 left, Lake Turland, Hotel Uniform. November Niner Hotel Uniform, negative, he's holding short of runway 20 left, he landed on Charlie. I landed on Charlie. That was from the Sir and State Parking. And Husky Niner Hotel Uniform, possible pilot deviation, and I need you to call the tower, advise when you have a pen ready to copy a number. I have the number, sir. Eight hotel Actor Harrison Ford and his explanation as to why he landed his small plane dangerously close to an American Airlines jet. This occurred at John Wayne Airport. If you take a look at that video. Ford had been told during the April incident to hold short of the runway at Hawthorne Airport because of another plane landing. However, he crossed anyway, claiming he misheard the instruction. Hotel uniform, can you hold short runway 25? Traffic on the runway. Crossing 25. Hotel uniform. Hotel uniform, get across that runway now. I told you to hold short. You need to listen up. Uh, excuse me, sir. I thought exactly the opposite. I'm terribly sorry. So, as you can see, well, you know, maybe, in my opinion, I just don't think he should be flying planes, as you can see from the clips I just showed you. I think maybe he should stick to just pretending to fly planes in his movies. safer for everyone, including himself, but, um, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, I thought it might be fun to come in here and X-Plane, connect to VATSIM, and then, you know, go and bother some air traffic controllers and other pilots, and maybe, just maybe, land on a taxiway with a 737 parked on it. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We're going to take off from Santa Monica here, and we're going to fly down to... Uh, Los Angeles International Airport and um, and then we're going to do a touch and go there maybe on a taxiway, we don't know yet um, and then we're going to fly northbound and our final destination will be Burbank so we'll see how this goes um, and of course 
since this is Harrison Ford, if you don't know, today is uh, May the 4th, which is Star Wars Day. And of course, the most famous actor in Star Wars is probably Harrison Ford. So to celebrate him, we're going to uh, do some of the mistakes that he's done and just basically use his flying style today in the simulator. And we're going to use his... Well, I'm going to try to do the best Harrison Ford voice I can on the radios here today. So we'll just see how this goes. I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy this. Um, so, yeah, let's go. We'll go here, 125.8, and tune in, and we'll call up 8-9er Hotel Uniform. That's Harrison Ford's plane, of course. Now, of course, the plane we're in right now is not an actual Husky, but it's, uh, it's the closest I have, so we'll just use that today. It's 125.8. I think usually I'm a good pilot, but today's going to be different, because it's special. It's a special day. It's Star Wars Day. We're going to celebrate the, the best actor in Star Wars. Well, I don't know if he's the best actor, he's just the most famous. Anyway, we'll get, we'll just get going. <clears throat> Los Angeles Center, Husky 8 Narner Hotel Uniform on the ground, Santa Monica, ready to taxi. See if they give us a taxi clearance, they're probably going to say, no, your your license is revoked. Hey, man, hotel uniform, uh, you doing uh, VFR to the north, flight following, no flight following, what do you want? Uh, well, we're planning to go up to Burbank, but first we'd like to get, uh, if possible, a touch and go in uh, Los Angeles and then proceed north. Yeah, not going to happen on that one, but you can go uh, to Burbank if you'd like to. Yeah, we'll go We'll go straight to Burbank, 8 in hotel uniform. 8 in hotel uniform, no problem, uh, run my 2-1 taxi via Alpha. Do one via Alpha in our hotel uniform. So unfortunately, they probably know that Harrison Ford is going to do some strange things, and they don't want him to go to LA. So we're not going to LA today. We'll see you. So over to Oakland Center. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. One's there for. So that's a little unfortunate. I was going to land on a taxiway, but um, I guess that's not going to happen today. Actually, we might be able to go to Hawthorne first. That's right near L.A. I'll ask. In an 8 9 hotel uniform, would it be possible to get a touch and go in Hawthorne and then proceed north? you going to do a touch and go where? Hawthorne? Uh, hey, for an 8 9 hotel uniform. In a hotel uniform, yeah, you can, uh, you can plan that. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Roger that. Thank you. 8 9 hotel uniform. All right, so we sleeping in the background. We will be going to Hawthorne, which is right south of LAX, which means we're going to have to transition the LAX Bravo airspace, which is definitely not so good. 742 descend via at Burbank but, uh, cleared. Uh, you can just uh, clear the ILS 26 left. You can just fly it visually. But what we are going to do, of course, is go through that Bravo airspace, do a touch and go in Hawthorne, and then. We'll have to go back into the airspace to the north, so maybe this will end up being pretty, pretty good. We'll, we'll just have to see here how it goes. So the 742, just copy that, uh, at Bourbon, cleared ILS 26 left approach. We're just gonna go into this view until we can get down to the end, so I don't crash. That wouldn't be good uh, before we're even off the ground. I don't mind crashing once we're in the air, right, so uh, because Bourbon, that would be... Probably pretty realistic for Harrison Ford's standards. He's crashed many times. He crashed his plane right off the end of the runway we're taking off of. Right now, he crashed it in the golf course just down at the other end. He crashed his helicopter once, and he's just, you know, he's crossed the runway without clearance, almost got hit, and hit by a, um, another plane. He's landed on a taxiway, almost ran into a 737 with, I think it was 100 and... 68 passengers or something like that, so it's really, really not good, but that is pretty realistic for Harrison Ford, so, you know, we might end up crashing today, that's okay. Our goal here today is realisticness, because that's definitely a word. Alright, here we are coming up to the end here.
Okay, this thing's hard to steer. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, this is really hard to steer. Holy cow. It's even harder to take off. Just wait till we get to that point. I've done a little bit of that. Uh oh, don't go over the line. Well, actually, that's pretty realistic, too, for him. Yeah, oh well. Um, yeah, no, it's really hard to take off in this thing, but I'll do my best not to crash, but I have crashed before when I'm taken off, so we'll just do our best not to. <clears throat> Eight nine hotel uniforms ready to go on my two one. I'll tell you uniform left cross and departure is approved. The wind, actually, let me just put it this way. Clear to the Los Angeles cross Broadway airspace, uh, on departure left cross and departure is approved. The wind at 2508 runway 21, clear for takeoff. Left cross one departure approved into the Bravo airspace 21, clear for takeoff. Ain't no hotel uniform. Someone's sleeping over at that house? Really quiet. What's he talking to me? Well, Harrison Ford is quiet on the radio anyway. So that's okay. That's that's perfectly fine. Realistic, of course. All right. I'm not gonna bother with landing lights today, just because like I don't see the point really. Here we go. Don't crash, please. All right, we're up. Easy peasy. I've been practicing. So I don't, I don't know why he didn't assign us a code, but that's okay. So we're up. We're gonna turn to the left, left crossman, like you said. We're cleared into the Bravo. So we're just gonna fly southbound here until we, until we get more instructions. A little bit disappointing we're not getting into LAX, but. You know, we'll just... We'll just do with what we've got, of course. So that's a uh, big heavy jet that just called up for takeoff on runway 25 right, which is basically right ahead of us here. So, yeah, it does sound a little bit busy. That's probably why we're not getting in. Either that or they don't want Harrison Ford flying there, of course. That is if they know this is Harrison Ford flying. Which I'm sure some of them do know, because everyone in aviation knows about Harrison Ford and all his screw-ups he's made, but I, I don't know. Whatever. So I filed our altitude for 2,500, so I'm going to climb up to that unless he tells us otherwise. 742, the wind, 1603 runway, 26 left for land. Captain 2063, leaving the airspace to the southeast, uh, Albuquerque is offline, ready to service terminate, free for change crew today. That's your call, my red truck is 2063, good luck. All right, well, here we come up to Los Angeles International here. There it is down there. So there you go. Almost at 2,500 now. So we'll start leveling off. One thing I also have to watch out for in this plane are the fuel tanks. We're using this fuel tank up here, and then when that gets down low, we'll have to switch to this one. That's how John Denver crashed his plane. He was um, using his one of his fuel tanks, and it ran out, and he had to switch it, except his switch was behind his seat, and obviously that caused him to crash. Um, so yeah, that didn't that didn't go to. Okay, hotel uniforms are contact 2500 and receive transponder squawk 7241. 7241, ignore hotel uniform. 
Seven, two, four, one. There you go. Oh, gotta turn this way a little bit. Then. And the United Hotel Uniform, make sure you're, oh, there we go, you got a transponder on now. Uh, and enter left downwind runway 25 at uh, Hawthorne. And enter left downwind 25 at Hawthorne, 89 Hotel Uniform. So we're right over LAX, there yeah, you go. Now, in real life, Bravo. we would probably be using the, uh, what's called the special uh, flight rules area. But, um, but you know, uh, Right now we're just on Batsim and we're just following the air traffic controller's clearances here and I don't know how realistic the flight rules area is for um, Batsim but in real life that's probably what we would have just used. Anyway, here's Hawthorne right over here now so that's where we're going to be landing or just touch and going at. And then um, and we'll be going back north up to Burbank. Hopefully there's some pilots that we can bother up there. We'll just have to see. Now I believe this is the one where he crossed the runway without clearance and almost got hit by the other jet, but um, I could be wrong. And then uh, Orange County is where he a, landed on the taxiway. LA, Santa, Orange County is where he landed on the taxiway, and then Santa Monica is where he crashed. Yeah, his, you know, he's really not doing well with his flying. I really think you should just stick to the pretend <laughs> flying <laughs> in the movies. That'd be better. Runway 25, clear for the option. Make no hotel uniform. There's some pretty big power lines down there. I want to watch out for those. You're the first one all day that's read the chart correctly. I mean, I know you, I know you know what you're doing, but I'm saying I've had everybody just turn it on their own. Ah, uh -huh, really? I bet. Yeah, mostly the European guys don't know how to read the, the charts with the lost comp procedures on it. Yeah, I can't stand the price. Yeah, that's okay. No fault to their own. Yeah. American 220, clear direct surfer, climb maintain, follow 230. So for United 220, because American 220. Uh, you're the only 220 on the frequency. United 220, clear direct surfer, climb maintain, follow 230. Alright, step surfer, just making sure. I appreciate it. It's like pro pilots here tonight, boys. <laughs> Except for Harrison yeah. Ford. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Alright, I'll try my best at landing this. Not sure how well it's gonna go here. Cause, like, I, I don't... Oh, yeah, that was alright, but it was pretty bumpy. Anyway. Right back up. Don't go off to the side, you stupid pilot. That's not very yeah, smart. Fox here, uh, that, uh, the park's not gonna work. You gotta refile by plan. Sunshine force for turbojet, turboprops only. There we go. We're all right. That was close, but we, well, but we're okay. Roger, sir. 
Probably something he would do though in real life anyway. Eight in your hotel uniform, climbing off the runway two five. Where do you want me now, sir? Eight in hotel uniform. Uh, you can transition midfield uh, LAX at two thousand five hundred uh, northbound, and uh, just proceed on course. All right, northbound midfield two thousand five hundred. Uh, thank you, eight in hotel uniform. All right, so we're just going to keep flying this heading until we're right in the middle of LAX, basically, and then we're going to turn to the right, and then we're going to go direct to Burbank. I wonder if there's any more planes. Let's look on the map here. There's like three planes down there. I don't know why I couldn't land there if it's not that busy. So like I said, there was two options. It could have been because it's busy, or it could have been because they don't like Harrison Ford. So obviously it's the second one, they don't like Harrison Ford, because there's like nobody else there. So there you go, that's why. So I was right all along. Probably. Anyway, doesn't really matter. LA Center Delta 296 with you at Portable 370. Delta 2096, also with you, uh, Yebel uh, reroute into Vegas. You asked if uh, we can reroute to Vegas? You have the latest air rack on your airplane? Uh, a for 2096, we have our uh, updated NAV data. We're running uh, 2102. Okay, then you should have it then. Uh, just let me know when you're ready to copy. Here we are again, right over LAX. Go ahead for 296. Too bad there's no planes taking off to watch. That's that's okay though. And uh, 296, go to the Vegas airport via direct cocktail, cocktail 1, and maintain potable 310. There's a, what is that, C-130 or something down there? Vegas, cocktail, cocktail 1, and 310 on Something. the Delta 2096. A little bit above the altitude he gave us. I'm going to descend here real quick. Delta 296, can we expect a 2-6 left under Vegas? Hey, firm. Okay, so now we are basically over past, uh, LAX, so we'll go direct to Burbank now, which is going to be over this way. Direct to Las Vegas. Direct to Las Vegas, America 134. So, unfortunately, well, so far at least, this the cocktail run arrival to episode has not being as eventful as um, as I hoped it would be. I thought we were going to be able to go to LAX and then land on a taxiway or something like that, but not today. But definitely we'll do it again if you guys enjoyed this and you enjoyed my acting skills and my Harrison Ford voice. Maybe I'm a better actor than him, who knows. Um, but if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know, because we'll definitely do this again, and then hopefully next time we'll be able to land on a taxiway or something like that. So, make sure you let me know. We'll just figure that out. Anyway. We are going to be heading up this way, and then I think... I think I can actually already see it right way over there all those lights beyond the hill there that must be Burbank and then if we look way over there whoops that what is that that is the Hollywood sign 
So that's pretty cool, too. That is pretty cool. You know, whenever, when I was, like, really young, I always thought for some reason, like, I saw a picture of the Hollywood sign, all these big white letters on a, on the side of a hill, and I thought it was, like, the pyramids in Egypt, how it's, like, ancient, and it's been there for, like, thousands and thousands of years, and, you know, it's, like, unclear exactly who, who put it there, and who built it, and how long it's been there, and it's, half of it's still being discovered. I always thought the Hollywood sign was like that. I thought it was like a natural or ancient unknown thing. <laughs> I was not smart enough to realize it was like a, a fabricated thing that people just put there for for fame, you know? But, um, yeah. Anyway, I guess I might be a little smarter now, at least. Hopefully. Our fuel's still looking good. Send a little more still. Hey, nine out Zayn from uh, Burbank. See you ten o'clock, about uh, one zero miles. I've got the field inside, Ignor. Hotel uniform. Hey, nine out uniform in a right base. Uh, clear to land, runway eight. The wind is one four zero five. Right base, clear to land, runway eight. Eight nine hotel uniform. All right, so we're gonna go this way a bit, and then. All those orange lights there on that freeway or whatever it is up there. I think that might be the Interstate 5. Uh, we are going to fly basically straight to that. Actually, no, that's not the 5. The 5 is the one past that, I think. I'm not sure which one that is. But we're just going to go basically right to where all those bright lights are. And then we're going to turn uh, to the right and land on the runway. Basically, we're 90 degrees to the runway we're landing on right now. And then once we get there, we're going to turn uh, more to the right, and then we're going to land. So then downtown Los Angeles, I guess, is over there. Yeah, that would be it there, I guess. And then right below us, I suppose, must be the Hollywood Hills. Not as beautiful as I thought it was. Yeah, that's a little bit uh, disappointing. But, uh, you know, maybe there's an X plane scenery I can get that has more houses in it. We'll, we'll just we'll look for All one. unreadable. I think your internet's taking a dump. Alright, so here's this highway we're going to follow a little further, and then we're going to, you can see the uh, approach lights there flashing in succession to the end of the runway, just, just over to the right there. So that is where we're going. Yeah, I still can't hear this guy, there's something wrong, I don't know. Poor guy is never going to get out of here. He's going to be sitting on the ground all night. Never, ever going to get out. Starwings 928, how you doing? Runway 19, uh, sign up to Axis Delta. Alright, so we can see the runway now right, there. Uh, hotel uniform. Oh, gosh. 1405, runway 8, clear to land. Uh, runway 8, clear to land, 8, in our hotel uniform. 
Oh gosh, I just opened the window. Okay, let's lean outside the airplane and redo it up. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. That's my bad. I'm trying to look at the airport and then I accidentally opened the window. <laughs> it's probably something he would do. Put our landing lights on this time because it's a little darker. And then, uh... Here's our runway here, so we're going to turn to the right and land on it. And then straight ahead of us there, that, um, just barely see it, that airport, I believe is Whiteman Airport. And then over runway this way somewhere is uh, Van Nuys Airport, somewhere. Anyway, put the uh, flaps down. Those make you jump a little bit, don't they? There's a lot of buildings and houses down here. It would be terrible if Harrison Ford happened to have an engine failure. Much better. Approach. Looking good. Ish. Right over these power lines here. Charlie Bravo, could you get a radio check, please? How about that? This crewing is 928, delay, ready contact out of 3,400, unmaintained, flight level 320. Ooh, that was a really bumpy one. That's okay. We're just gonna try to slow down and not tip over and not veer off the runway. Which is something that uh, both Harrison Ford and I could probably manage to do this plane. Uh, Senator, remember 335 Charlie Bravo, we're going to get a pickup via fire request right now, if possible. Second. We were wondering if it's possible to pick up a clearance over the, La the Los Angeles Internet Airport special flight rules uh, following. Who's comp run restricted? <laughs> yep, Sorry, uh, you the 320 uh, altitude uh, clears any of the restrictions. Sorry, you kept cutting out. Can you repeat that one more time for me? Hey, I was talking to somebody else. This this controller seems a little bit grumpy. Three three five Charlie Bravo, and what's your uh, what are you looking to do? Uh, we we're just looking to fly northbound over Los Angeles, and then we we're probably descending to like Van Nuys area. We're still trying to figure it out right now. Yeah, that works. Just let me know what you want to do. You want me to file a flight plan for doing that, or are we going to just uh, grab that now? You don't need to file a flight plan. You don't need a flight plan for the special flight rules. It's sort of its, uh, it's own, little, own little special thing. Roger that. Then can we just get the special flight rules over Los Angeles and then be a bar into uh, Van Nuys, please? So I guess the special Rock flight rules area is sort of a thing in VATS, and that's interesting. We'll do an episode on that too if you guys want, that's a really fun thing to do. You can look up, there's a couple of good videos on that too. Um, that is definitely one of the coolest things in aviation in this area. Anyway, I'll get my landing lights off. 
Make dinner hotel uniform, clear runway 8. So I'm not sure exactly where we'd want a taxi here. I'm gonna guess kind of just straight ahead. Actually, yeah, I think we want to go kind of in this area here. I don't know what that area is called. Why don't we go into this camera while we have a minute and try to figure it out. I don't see any signs that tell me where I am or anything, so that's not very helpful. But yeah, I think we want to go here. You know, I'll look up the diagram on my phone while we have a little bit here, because he's not responding to anybody. And I will find out where we're trying to go. Okay. So we want to go, I think we're here on, what is this, Bravo. Does that say Bravo? Yeah, Bravo. Or no, we're on Delta 7, I think. Where are we? Yeah, we're on Delta 7. And we want to go on Delta and Bravo to the... Los Angeles Center, number Sierra Papa, requesting taxi to the room. Eight nine hotel uniform requesting taxi to apron clear of runway eight. He's not responding to anyone. I don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe he's having some internet problems now. Or maybe they just don't like talking to Harrison Ford. If I was the air traffic controller, I probably wouldn't want to talk to him either. Especially if he just landed on my taxiway. Eight nine hotel uniform radio check. Five five, sir. Does anyone know when that controller is gonna be back? Traffic. It's 8 9 hotel uniform. We're going to taxi to Apron via Delta and Bravo Burbank. Hopefully he didn't have a stroke like that air traffic controller in Vegas did in real life a couple of years ago. That was terrifying. I'm sorry, Frontier. 26 Sunny Cross, right? Give out your vote on right. This confusion continues for more than 30 minutes. Somebody out there that knows what they're doing. She was the only one in the whole tower at the time, so that's really safe. Good for you, FAA. That's definitely how you staff your uh, towers properly. Um, anyway, we are just going to use this frequency as a CTAF for now, which is a common traffic advisory frequency. And we're just going to announce what we're doing, and then we're going to do it, because, like, literally, we just want to taxi a couple couple meters and um, they're not responding so we're just gonna we're just gonna go it's not like we're on any runways or anything so that's all okay now of course there is an actual frequency that is a CTAF but um, we're gonna stay on this frequency just because that's probably the frequency that all the other planes are on right now dark, but that's okay because we're already here. 
now we are clear of the movement area. So now we can do whatever we want, basically. Of course, we can't, like, take off or anything. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Harrison Ford to try, but we're not supposed to. But what I'm saying is we can maneuver wherever we need, whatever we want to do in this area. We don't need any clearances anymore. So, we'll go ahead and park up right about here, I think. Just turn around real quick as much as we can. It's about as far as it's going to go. That's fine. We'll just park right here. And uh, we can uh, go ahead and turn off the engine. And everything like that. So, yeah. Thank you for flying with Harrison Ford today. Happy Star Wars Day. If you're a fan of Star Wars, I am I really don't care about it. But I know some people are absolute fans of it. So, happy Star Wars Day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Harrison Ford episode. We'll definitely do another one. If you guys enjoyed it, I sure did. I want to land on a taxiway next time. But, you know, we'll just uh, let me know what you want to... If, if you want to see more Harrison Ford, and we'll, we'll make it happen. Anyway, um, with that being said, we're going to end the episode. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you consider subscribing, and uh, we'll get to 1,000 subscribers really quick. I'm really excited about that. We've got our third annual air show planned. We're going to do it in X-Plane this year. The year before that, we did it in Infinite Flight. This year, we're going to do it in X-Plane. So I'm really excited about that. So again, consider subscribing. Don't miss that. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. Join the Discord. The link to everything is in the description. And I'll also leave some links to some Harrison Ford videos so you can see how realistic today's flight was. Today's flight was actually probably not too realistic because it was safer than Harrison Ford's real flights, but, you know, we did pretty well, I think, so I'll leave links to them. Thank you for watching. Contact departure. Good day. On behalf of the Federal Aviation Administration's Runway Safety Office, I encourage you to put safety first. As a licensed pilot, I have a healthy respect for the rules and regulations set forth in the aviation community. Take the time to become familiar with your airport and constantly stay alert to your surroundings. Whether you're piloting an aircraft or a person granted with driving privileges on the airport grounds, play it safe. Think before you act. Help put the brakes on runway incursions.